I know it was raining hard when I came up interstate. Richard Wolf lived in a small home on Coons Avenue in Clendenin for more than 70 years when it was flooded during severe storms in June of last year. He was in Charleston the evening of June 23rd when the rain began. And I got off the interstate and said, park and ride, water was coming over, park and ride. And I turned around and went back to Charleston. I knew I couldn't get in Charleston in Clendenin. That was on Thursday. It was Sunday before Wolf was able to return to his home, where he well, says... Everything was just hop, hippie hop, everything turned over inside the house. Wolf's home was destroyed and later torn down. But after living with his sister for almost a year now, Wolf will soon return to Clendenin, this time to live in a brand new home. A crew of six Mennonite men have started to build a new one for him on Coons Avenue. There's been a steady flow of Mennonite volunteers in the areas impacted by the storm since the flooding last year. Mennonite Disaster Service estimates more than 500 volunteers have traveled to West Virginia, working in communities throughout the affected area. Ori Lehman brought this small group of volunteers from Indiana last month to work in Clendenin. We'd like to bring in about 20 people, young people and adults, and uh, work and try to build the whole house in a little more than a week maybe. Layman says the crew begins by laying the foundation. Twelve rows of concrete block will ensure that Wolf's new home will sit above the floodplain. Wolf's home is one of ten being built in Clendenin through a project coordinated by the West Virginia Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster, or West Virginia VOAD. Families participating in the project are asked to use any funding they receive from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to help pay for their new home. But VOAD rallied help from several nonprofit groups from across the state to cover the remaining costs not covered by FEMA awards. The flood victims who receive new homes through the project, like Wolf, will own them outright after construction is complete, thanks to the coordination of efforts. One person cannot do it all. It, it takes everybody. I may have the funding that I can put on the table, but without someone, do, an organization doing the case management or another organization such as Mennonite Disaster Service to build the home, then my funding is not going to go as far. So by, by all of us coming together and working together, we're able to stretch our dollars and we're able to accomplish a lot more. Ganaway and representatives of the other voluntary agencies involved in funding the homes broke ground on the project in front of Wolf's property in May. She says symbolizing a milestone on Clendenin's path to revitalization. For Inside Appalachia, I'm Ashton Mara in Clendenin. You can hear this story and more on the Inside Appalachia podcast. It's available on wvpublic.org or wherever you get your podcasts. That's Inside Appalachia. Get the podcast and you can listen on your own time.